hi guys and welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be my valentine's day ombre lip video if you guys haven't seen my valentine's day makeup look make sure to check that out i have the link down below it is called the covergirl bloom valentine's day makeup look so yes check the description box down below and a link will be to that video so i want to put like a little <laughs> informational thing out there right now um i am wearing this charm bracelet um that looks like that and it does jiggle 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 so if you hear that in the video that is what that is okay so for this ombre lip video you're only going to need a few things and i have those things right here so let's go over them real quick so you guys know what to get out before starting the first thing that you guys are going to need is a lip exfoliator this is the elf lip exfoliator um it looks like that inside you'll be seeing this in this video and this is the first product you're going to need Second product you're going to need is something to moisturize your lips after doing that exfoliant. And I'm using the EOS um, Lip Balm in Melon Dew. For that, you are going to need the two lipsticks that you are going to be using for the ombre lip. Um, I'm using the CoverGirl lipsticks that look like this. Um, you've seen these lipsticks, of course. In my Valentine's Day makeup look, I am going to be using this. I'm using a red one and I'm using like a purpley pink one. Also, you're going to be needing a lip pencil. This is the NYX lip pencil in H13 blush red. No, plush red. Um, looks like that. And you're going to be needing some type of brush to blend the products together. I'm needing this e.l.f. small smudge brush. So first, taking your e.l.f. lip exfoliator, we are going to be putting this all over our putting this all over our lips to take off all the dead skin that we might have or anything. Just we're going to do this. So just rub it across there like that. Make sure to get inside this heart right here because that usually holds all that dead skin. Go up. And then rub your lips together. Once you have it all worked in, take your piece of tissue, or you can just lick it off. But I suggest just take your piece of tissue and rubbing the sugar off. Okay. So once you feel like the sugar's all rubbed off, your lips are probably going to be like mine, all plumped and the blood just coming towards the lips. So you're going to be taking your EOS balm or whatever lip balm you're going to be using. And we are going to apply this lip balm to our lips to hydrate it. So... And then rub your lips together. Also like to take tissue for this part and kind of get some of the lip balm off so like that so they're still hydrated but they don't have so much of that lip balm gooky stuff on it because sometimes that can turn into those little fuzzy thingies on your lips when you have your lipstick on and that is not cute now my lips look good <laughs> I could even wear them like this if I wanted. And our lip pencil. This is the NYX lip pencil in 813 plush red. Um, the color looks like that. Such a beautiful color. And we are going to be lining our lips with this. So. Uh, line your lips however you want. You can overdraw them if you... Oh gosh. You can overdraw them if you need to. So I want to kind of overdraw my top lip because my top lip is, as you can see, really small. I 
Okay, so once you have it lined, it's gonna look crazy. Of course, like that. Now we are going to take our darker color, which I'm using this red. This is by CoverGirl. This is in the color 295 Succulent Cherry. So it's a pretty, pretty red color. And I'm gonna be applying this color basically where the outline is. So I'm be lining my lips with this red. You can use the lip brush if you want to. I'm just gonna use the tip of the lipstick. So it looks like that. You can see how I went around with the red. So now we are going to take the pink color, pinky purpley color. It's more of like a purple. And this is also a CoverGirl lipstick and this is in the color 335 Tantalized. So it looks like that. And let me take, why does it feel like it's closed? Okay. <laughs> so the color looks like this. It's very, very pretty. And we are going to be taking this color and going in the middle part of our lips. So like that. Okay, so it looks like this. So now, since we have that on, we are going to press our lips together. So it kind of blends. And then with our lip brush, we're just basically going to blend things together and clean it up. So that's our lips. Um, so we are done. It was literally that easy to get ombre um, color lips. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was entertaining. And if you guys try out this lip look, make sure to hashtag me in it so I can see. And I will see you guys in my next video.